There is no secret that I have not been a fan of the digital media championship since its inception. I was very open-minded to it at the time that it was announced, even though I and many fans hated the name of the title since day one. But I was open-minded because they claimed it was going to be a cutting-edge championship that was defended on social media and digital media exclusives. And they acted like they were going to give us something that we haven't seen yet in professional wrestling. We've been wanting some sort of mid-card championship in TNA for a while. Most fans, I would say about 90% of them, have wanted some sort of television championship. There was many fans who had said at the time that Anthem bought the company that it should be an Access TV championship. And then later we see things like the TNT and TBS championship come out. And, and of course, the fans were like, you know, TNA should have done that. They should have come out with that kind of title. Now it seems like they'd be copying if they were to do that, right? So the digital media championship, it's been a thing for a little while. And it just hasn't been what they promised it would be. It has not delivered. It has not improved anyone's career. And I thought there was a major missed opportunity when they rebranded the TNA to get rid of this championship that I think many fans would, would feel is a, was a mistake to begin with because it hasn't been what they said. It's just been a title. There's nothing about it that has anything to do with digital media, social media, anything, nothing. There's We've had guys like Matt Cardona hold it. Brian Myers hold it where we think, no, they could really do something special with it. Joe Hendry, guys who utilize social media and digital media and podcasting to their advantage in their own brand. So we're thinking, hey, this has a real shot here, right? We've also had Jordan Grace hold it. They teased that maybe it was an intergender title for a little bit. But they let us know when the very first match was announced, it was something like Zicky Dice versus, I don't even know, don't even care. But it was a joke match to begin with when they announced the tournament. But as I said, we've had Jordan Grace. They teach it, they tease that it could be an intergender title, which still would have been something a little bit different. And then we've had guys like Rich Swan who don't even have social media. Crazy Steve's a current champion who I love. Crazy Steve doesn't have the best eye vision and uh, the best vision in the world. I'm not quite sure how he manages his social media. Laredo Kid, who we just learned could even speak English, I don't know how well he could on a long term basis. He he may be the next champion. How does doesn't he use his social media in Spanish? I could be wrong on that one. But so far. The title has been a dud. It is not a legitimate mid-card title. It is a lower-card title. And while we do want guys that we like to hold it, it just hasn't done much for anybody. Kenny King was another one that we felt, hey, he could do something with this championship. There's been many people who have held the title, and we've said they could do something with this. They can establish the championship, and it just hasn't really happened. The one positive I'll give it is the dot com match or dot combat match that they have done, I think, twice. Even though it is a garbage match, it's a bit of a comedy match. For some reason, it's worked. For some reason, it's gotten over a little bit with the fans. So I don't even knock them for doing that because it's something different. You know, it, it gets it, it, it has worked. It has worked. Now, the reason I'm saying here. Or asking the question, did WWE beat TNA at its own game? They have recently announced the Speed Championship. There's going to be a tournament. The matches are three minutes long. You got to beat your opponent very quickly. You got to beat him under three minutes. It's going to be, they said, almost exclusively on X. Isn't this kind of what TNA was saying they could do? Or that they would do? Now, I'm actually open to watching these matches. 
I'm open to checking it out. And as someone who's just done a lot of studies on social media over the years, I don't as much now as I used to. Back when I started the channel, I was big time into it, big time into learning social media marketing and social media and things of that nature. But I know exactly why WWE is doing this. They're looking at numbers. They're looking at attention span, the average attention span of a human being right now. They're looking at the average length people are watching videos on X before tuning out. I promise you they're doing the research on those things, and that's how they came up with this. I can I can assure you that's where this stemmed from. How do we appeal to the ADHD generation, the fans who want something now, the ones who don't really care all that much about storytelling? It's actually tapping into the AEW audience a little bit. One who doesn't, you know, don't place that that much importance on the storytelling of a match. They just want to see moves. They want to see them quick. They want to see them now. They want to see them get their shit in. This is their way of kind of playing towards that audience, right? Now, with the X Division, even though Impact or TNA does a fairly decent job of keeping X Division style matches in the X Division, many wrestlers are working the X Division style now. So it was up to TNA to come up with something to to be different. At once upon a time, the X Division was what made them different. It doesn't stand out like that now, even though we still get some pretty good matches. But it is pretty frustrating to see right in front of our eyes the vision that we were kind of promised and the vision that maybe Scott Demore and others had at the time play out right in front of our, our eyes with a company that obviously has the machine behind it. It's got a completely different marketing machine. It's got a, a different level of uh, individuals backstage and know what they're doing. And, you know, TNA really could have done something like this and they just didn't. So instead we've just got what's essentially a prop title. It's just called the digital media championship. It means nothing. They, you know, you could even defend it on the pre-show of the darn pay-per-views and they don't really necessarily do that either. Now, crazy Steve has told me personally that he has a match coming up for rebellion. Nothing has been announced. I would imagine He's going to defend it on the pre-show of this thing, which makes sense. If you're streaming on YouTube, that's digital media, right? But the ball has definitely been dropped. They missed the opportunity to make it a television championship. And now we're seeing other people carry this vision out and do it better than what we were promised. And it is unfortunate to see they made this championship. It's a new championship. It's going to be around for a while. What are they doing with it? Pretty much nothing. 